It's starting to get spooky. So I'm up north again. It's winter time. So we had a little bit of snow earlier. Uh, the tracks have been, they're, they're a little bit old. They're a couple of days from, uh, from before. We had some snow earlier, um, overnight. And uh, yeah, follow along. Let's see what we can find. So uh, I'm out here, uh, just going for a walk. See what, uh, what kind of birds and uh, Maybe some squirrels they're out. So got my big honking camera, but it's really big lens. And uh gonna see if we can get some photos. Some really nice ones. Last couple of times I came out here during the winter I got some nice roughed grouse. Uh saw some turkey tracks. I actually saw some turkeys too. Um saw tracks for a large cat. Wasn't sure whether it was a lynx or a cougar. It's kind of hard to tell um, just because the snow melted a little bit so the, the prints came out a little bit wider than they would have been when first uh, stepped in. But uh, we'll see what we can find. Um, talking in a little bit of hushed voice only because I don't want to scare anything that might be too like a little bit further up ahead. Um, can't exactly take photos of things that aren't around because you know you're talking too loud. So yeah, this time I am by myself, just me, nobody else. Um, I'm not too, too concerned for those of you who are. There's nothing around here that's too scary. Most things are more scared of us than we are of them. And uh, I'm prepared anyways. Got bear spray just in case. Just old tracks, but beautiful landscape. Nope, oh, that was a grass. I scared off. Oh, no photo. <laughs> that's that's the reality of this. Is that now, right now, um, grass like to sit about like six feet high or higher on the branches and uh, they sit closer to the trunk so that you don't really see them they blend it nicely and as soon as you get closer you stop and they think that you're looking at them they'll take off and uh, they make a loud noise so it'll scare the crap out of me but uh, that's that's the reality of it oh well continuing on So I'm on a different section of the road now, and uh, here, this way, that's the river all the way down there. But I also have a great top-down view to see if anything's walking around there, so I'm constantly scanning. But because the road goes across a hill, 
Those are the hill up that way. There's a couple of ridges up if I go up far enough. But that makes things a little bit more difficult. Because yeah, here I'm looking down and I can see tracks. I can't see tracks up that way. I also don't know if something's watching me or not. Um, but so far, it's quiet. It's very, very quiet. Every so often you'll hear ice cracking. The river's not completely solid. It's also connected to a lake that, uh, that does get dammed. So they drop the water level. Um, actually, in this clip, you can see uh, the rapids that form when the water level drops. But uh, it's uh, never fully frozen. Never fully frozen. When the water level drops even more, they're much bigger rapids. We'll see. We'll see what I can find. It's so peaceful out here. Absolute quiet. Except for one Canadian guy who decides to walk around in flannel. If you can tell it's starting to get pretty dark and uh, snow's starting to fall so it's gonna be time to turn around and head home and uh, hopefully maybe something will pop up along the way but we'll see I don't have high hopes but we'll see so I can't believe it just as I finished the other clip and I turned around there's a, there's a broken section in the ice, and I thought it was a log, and I'm like, that log wasn't there. I realized it was a river otter, and before I could set up with the camera to, to capture it, it, uh, it decided to dive back in underneath. So I'm going to stick around here, a little bit quieter, and uh, hopefully maybe he'll pop back out. I haven't seen one here in like 10 years. So this is magical. I'm I'm so excited actually. So it looks like I'm out of luck for the uh, for the otter. So as it turns out, that's where I saw him pop his head out. But down here, he came out of that hole, and I don't think that you'll be able to see the tracks. But the tracks lead up this way, here, and he went into his den. Sorry, here. So. They're around here. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna try in the morning and I'm gonna try in the evening as well. Maybe I'll catch them on camera. It was so cool. I haven't seen them in so long. I'm, I'm actually excited. Even though I didn't catch them, I'm so excited. Anyways, it's getting dark. Time to head home. Starting to get spooky. Good morning. Um, so day two. I'm heading out. It's actually I'm actually heading out a little bit later than I wanted to. First light was at like five after seven. It's not quarter after. But the sunrise isn't until around seven forty. Um, so it gives me time to get out to the spot that I was looking at. Hopefully the uh, otters will be active in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Time to uh, go find some otters. So, as you guys can see, it's already quite bright. I'm about 
10 minutes away from, uh, from sunrise. Which, I mean, I, it is not ideal because you want to be there early. So you can put yourself in a spot and sit still. Animals won't, uh, won't think of you as a foreign object, especially if you keep going there day after day. So, this is a uh, on the spot knee jerk reaction, really. And I'm, I'll be honest, I'm kind of looper repaired. Yeah, I got the toque and the one winter jacket. And that's because I'm sitting. It's only my answer if I'm sitting. I'm not going to be moving. This walk up is all the exercise I'm going to be getting. I'm waiting for the starters. Minus one gets cold, especially when you have 90% humidity. So it's that uh, the cold got into your bones, kind of cold. It doesn't take a lot. So let's see. Note to self: head out earlier next time. I just really wanted my tea. It's, uh, it's after sunrise. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys can hear me well. So it's after sunrise. No, nothing yet. But uh, I mean, there's no guarantee that the otter's going to be here in the first place. That's always worth a shot. We'll, uh, we'll see. I'll wait maybe another hour or so. Uh, I'll head on home. Try again later tonight. Maybe a fluke will happen twice. Yeah, who knows?
this morning. I'm gonna head back for breakfast and I'll try again later. I'm looking for a walk out around lunchtime and then we'll be back in the evening. Maybe I'll see you around the same time as I saw yesterday. We'll see. That's it for now. Alright, round two. It's around lunchtime. I uh, decided to walk the access road a little bit. Go from uh, from start to finish and see what we're gonna find. We had some sprinkling of snow overnight. Which means that if anything comes by, then, uh, then there are going to be fresh tracks, which is good. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what we can find. Uh, in the meantime, I can show you how nice and quiet it is around here. Uh, this is what I mean by tracks. So these are my footprints from yesterday. Oh, that's a brand new one. Minus the kick at the side. Uh, see the crispness versus the powdery. Uh, that's how. That's the easiest way to tell how uh, how early or how recently an animal came by. Check out these awesome tracks that I just found. It's really cool. They're just mine from yesterday. Okay, so here we go again. It's, uh, it's five o'clock. So we're gonna see if uh, that otter is nice enough to give us another performance today. Uh, this time I'm a little, little bit more prepared, because we're gonna see shortly. And um, maybe, just maybe, we get lucky. Hopefully. I'm really hoping. <laughs> See you. See you in a bit. Well, this is what I meant. A little bit more prepared. I uh, ended up boring some winter candle. And it's not, like I'm not sitting in the bush, right? The, the twigs on the pattern don't make a difference. I'm gonna be next to rocks. But the point of it is to break up my shape. Because you can see my jacket poking out there through the top. And when you're sitting on ice, or you're sitting on snow, a big brown jacket sticks out like a sore thumb. 
Now I'm gonna be amongst rocks, so I'm gonna at least have some shapes. But you still gotta break out, break up the uh, the pattern of a big brown jacket. So we're gonna give this a shot. Oh, and uh, brought a little stool with me. At least I'll be out of the snow with my butt. Maybe it'll be a little warmer. So last time I was sitting over there. I sculpted the place out from up on these rocks here. Now I'm on the other side. So I've got a little bit of coverage with these rocks. And unfortunately, a roadway over there, so it's a little bit loud. And that's where I saw him last time. So we're gonna see. Okay, so the reason why I picked this spot here, because from where the rocks are on that side, to where I saw him last time, it's almost 180 degrees. So where I am here, with uh, with a very minimal movement, I can keep an eye on basically this whole uh, not a basin, pond, mini lake. There's a big like pooling of water here before it goes to the other bridge. So. We're gonna see. See what happens. And there goes another car. No doubt in my mind. Driver's thinking, what the hell is that person doing over there? There's a saying in Iceland, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. I'm really feeling that saying right now. Because the snow picked up. And I've only been here for five minutes. So, we'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Here's the only thing about this location. It's kind of yeah. behind me, right by the pillars for the bridge. There's an opening. Same as over there. I can't cover those spots with my vision. It's kind of a pick a spot and sit there kind of place. If uh, if I had another person with me, we could divvy up the, uh, the what we gotta look at. But. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, it's uh, it's only quarter to six, and uh, as you can tell, it's pretty dark. Um, I can still see really well. The camera, I can't, but that's okay. You can hear me. Um, looks like the otters made another no-show. That's okay. It's part of the game. But I know that they are here. And I know more or less where, which just means that when I come back up to visit my parents, we can, uh, when we go for walks, I'll make a deliberate attempt to come by this way. Um, usually they don't get up until a little bit later, which means that I can sneak, in, well, sneak out of the house, talking like I'm a teen again. I can get out of the house early, come here, see if the otters will make a show, if not, go back home, well, even if they do, still, go back home, have dinner, and then go for a walk with the parents, so, or dinner, oh my god, breakfast, breakfast, my brain's not working, um, this is, this is excited, Alex, this is, uh, a lot of things going through my mind at the same time, and i brain can't figure out which words to tell my tongue to speak out. Um, yeah, unfortunately, nothing happened today, but uh, we'll keep a, I'm going to keep an eye on it. We'll see where this takes us. But, yeah, alright. Have a good one. <laughs>